What's up everyone? Welcome back to Fish and Hex. Well, it's been a while since I posted a video. If you guys have been on this channel for a little bit, you know that I try to post every few days. Well, it's been 10 days. And I'm going to tell you what's up. I haven't been in around my tanks, around the house really doing anything for 10 whole days, okay? And uh, yeah, this little uh, spot over here that you see that's white, yeah, I'm going to explain all that. That's not just a reflection from the light. It's dead, okay? So what happened? Well, basically, life took over, man. Things happened. Wasn't at the house for 10 days. Had zero maintenance on this SPS tank. When I say zero, I mean nothing. Glass wasn't done. Uh, filter socks were still dirty as shit. 10-day-old filter socks. Nasty. Skimmer cup not cleaned. I also ran out of two-part about five days in. So this tank didn't have any two-part for five days. And if you guys don't already know, this tank uses 120 milliliters a day just to maintain. So you can imagine how the tank um, suffered for five days. That's my dog in the background shaking around. Um, so what happened? Like I said, life took over, had a had a step away, other things happened, man. So the tank kind of went on autopilot for a little bit. Now, uh, what's good is, uh, you know, not, not everything's dead, okay? Uh, basically, over here, I had uh, the purple Monte Cap, the red Monte Cap, and that big green bird's nest that I got just got sick of having anyway. So that's all dead, that's fine. Um, I was going to put some acros there anyway, so I'm going to end up cleaning that off, get rid of those dead colonies. I already took off some pieces that were still alive and fragged them already, so we're going to have, you know, still have the purple Monte Cap around. I have some other pieces in the back. And then on the other side, uh, over here, that cat's paw, guys, I've lost about half of that. Uh, it is what it is, man. Basically, the tank kind of got overfed. It wasn't getting filtered enough. And, um, well, that's what happens when your nutrients levels are too high in an SPS tank things start going downhill and uh well it is what it is man uh the tank's still going it's still alive and uh you know we're just gonna move forward on it so what do i do now the tank has, has technically had a mini crash what do you do well first of all you get rid of all the dead skeletons clean out all that crap what i'm gonna do with that with that uh, cast paw i'm actually gonna cut off a big chunk i'm gonna make some good frags out of it just in case it starts to um rtn more um i could save most of the colony and, uh, you know, I got some other pieces of that, so if that starts to die off, that's fine. That's cool. We'll, we'll grow it over again. We'll start over. Um, that's one of the beauties about SPS, man. If you can save one little piece, well, that little one little piece is going to be a colony again. It just takes time, all right? So we're going to take off all the dead skeletons. We're going to frag out that uh, cat's paw. We'll be good to go since those are the only two corals that were affected in this tank. Um, we're going to do a 20-gallon water change tomorrow. I'm going to scrape this tank with a razor from head to toe well, or from tank side to tank side since it doesn't have a head or a toe so we're just going to go ahead and do all of that clean it up filter it we're going to be changing the gfo and the carbon tomorrow i'm making a new batch of um what is it calcium and alkalinity of uh, two part and fill that back up i've already put in some extra that i had so it's going to hold over for the next couple days so we're going to get all that done we're going to clean the refugium we're going to clean the skimmer out we're just going to do a full on maintenance power heads you name it we're just going to clean the tank so that's what i'm going to do over the next couple days and i will show you the process um you know if you guys want to see it i'll show you but it's basically just tank maintenance okay basic stuff that i haven't done now once that's all done we're going to give it a couple days and then we're going to start adding back in the coral vitalizer that i was doing this tank and then i was also doing zeo food twice a week on this tank and uh, we're just going to get back into the feeding regimen, get the tank happy again, get the level stable with the uh, calcium alkalinity. Uh, there's no point of um, in testing water parameters right now because the tank is, you know, it's screwed right now. It's, it's off. It's not healthy. It's not doing well. Um, but the, it is what it is, man. We're going to move forward. Now, this tank is this tank took it hard, man. But that Zeobit system, I didn't pump that reactor for 10 days and nothing's dead in that tank. Yeah, I got algae everywhere. I didn't dose any of the... Um, <clears throat> zeal start, no bacteria was dosed, no zeal um, coral vitalizer, no zeal food, no nothing. All right, so <clears throat> we're actually gonna change that media anyways because we just hit that point where we're on our second media change. So we're gonna do that, and I'll show you guys how I do that again. And then we're gonna get back into our normal dosing regimen and get that tank uh, up and running as normal. But nothing's dead in there, which is awesome. Um, these two Clarkies in this tank right here will be moving into the zeal system, and I have two pair i have a pair of um black oscillaris clowns that i adopted and they are beautiful and they're going to go in this tank all right um if you don't already know that uh, one clownfish that i did have in here like the maroon clown he's in the sump of this tank that you're looking at now because he is an asshole so he's going to live in the sump until i find somebody who wants to buy him 
Um, he just, you know, you're only going to bite me so many times and then you're going away. That's the way it is, man. He's been doing it for too long and, uh, you know, he's in the sump. He's not like he's not happy. He's got all the room he wants. So, anyways, guys, that is the update on this tank. And um, I don't know what the hell happened. Over the last week, I got like another 125 subscribers. For anybody who's watching this video and you subscribe to this channel, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, I know I ramble a lot and, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. But people send to like it and they like the kind of shit I talk about, so I appreciate it, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, because it'd be awesome if you did, all right? Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.